no intro. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your browser. I use Google Chrome, but you can use basically any browser and it will work just fine. What you want to do here is you just want to type in that for client, just like that, or click the top link in the description down below. Once you're on this page, you just want to click on Fever Client. And once you're here, just click on Download for Windows or Download for Fabric. So I'm just going to download it for Windows as I am currently on Windows. And if you go right up here, you'll see Fever Launcher Setup is almost done installing. It is now done installing, so we can close our browser. And from here, we can move on to our next step. Here, you want to open up your downloads folder. For me, I just have a shortcut on my desktop, but for you, this step will be a bit different, but you should be well aware of where your downloads folder is on your computer. And what you want to do is you want to open up your downloads folder and double click the Fever Launcher setup. It is going to give you a pop up that will not show up on video as it is considered a security setting as this considered a security pop-up so this doesn't actually show up on the video but once you double click this it will just give you this user account control panel and you just click yes and that's all you need to do a fever launcher to finish and then we're going to be able to actually open up the launcher and then i'll be able to guide you through how to actually connect your minecraft account and how to actually get play uh, get which one and then I'll be able to walk you through how to actually connect your account and get inside the game. So as you can see, here we have the Fever client right here. And the first thing we want to do is go over to not signed in guest user. And you want to click on this right here. And we want to add the Microsoft account. Once your account is connected, this is what your screen will look like. Here will have your in-game username as well as your Minecraft skin. So here you can just click on the X and here we can get on to actually getting inside of the game. So here we have a bunch of partnered servers like Jackpot MC, Sharpness, Leon MC, Roleplay Hub, I probably wouldn't play that one, PvP Legacy and stuff like that. Here we can change the version of the game. For me, I'll just play on the newest version. And as you can see, it automatically launches with Fabric as Fabric Client does have some mods that it bakes into the game. So, if we just click on Launch Fabric, it is going to open up the game. Three, two, one. So, this is what you will see once you actually open up the game. You just click the X, and this is what the main menu will look like. If you want to access your Minecraft settings, just go right up here and you'll get the basic panorama back as well as all the settings so here if we just go over to multiplayer here we can see a server a complex gaming which is one of their partnered servers so here if i just click on add server and add for example hypixel which is a well-known uh, well-known and trusted minecraft server we'll be able to see that we are actually able to join it as this does actually use your microsoft account it is a completely legitimate way to play the game so yeah, that is how to download and install Fever Client for Minecraft 1.21.10. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Peace.